Nick Scarnato with Rockwell Collins. We're doing a live virtual constructive demonstration where we actually have three players in the mix. We actually have U.S. Navy flying F-18s over in the uh, Nav Air booth here at the ITSIC conference, located right here on the left. In the center, we actually have a real aircraft being flown uh, <laughs> physically you. over Iowa City at this time. And on the right-hand side, we have an Air Force Attack B whose primary mission is going to be to call in a strike. All three are networked together using a standard HLA network for uh, interactive uh, oper inter or interoperability. The uh, interesting thing to note about the aircraft in the center screen, the real aircraft flying over Iowa City, has, a, has one pilot in the front seat that is there strictly for safety of flight reasons. Uh, he is basically hands-off stick and throttle. Uh, the pilot in the back, Tom Snell, is actually flying that aircraft by using an actual virtual environment that is located somewhere in Solvang, California. What we're trying to show here is that we could pipe in and feed up to the aircraft as opposed to feed from the aircraft down to a simulator. We are feeding a simulated environment up to a real world aircraft, tying in a real a uh, real life scenario, if you will, from the standpoint of being able to call in a strike on a particular weapon from an Air Force TAC-P, who, hap who happens to know the coordinates of where all the enemy forces happen to be located, and also tie in a virtual F-18 aircraft located in the NAV Air booth.